Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mandy. So today I am just going to be going through the house and giving it a good tidying up. I am not doing any deep cleaning, no dusting, anything like that. Just basically tidying up. I had already seen three patients this morning and I still had like a couple hours before I needed to pick the girls up from school. So I went home and I started tidying up the house. Now, I am a person that likes to make my bed every single day, but my husband is the last one to get out of the bed in the morning, and I've already left to drop the girls off at school. So my bed does not get made first thing in the morning like how I would like for it to be done, but that's okay because whenever I come home, even if it's 3.30, 4 o'clock, I will go in there and make my bed. I just feel that it's so relaxing and calming whenever I'm sitting in the living room and I look into my bedroom and I see that the bed is made. It just really makes everything look so pretty and neat and tidy. Being a working outside of the home mom, it is very important to me to keep up on my laundry. I do not like doing laundry on the weekend. The weekend is for me spending time with my girls and with Jason if he's not working. So I really try to do one load of laundry every single day. Sometimes I'll do two or three loads in a day just to get it done and over with. And the only thing I wash on the weekend is sheets. And I do that on Sunday. I strip everybody's bed in the morning and wash everyone's sheets. Now I'm just heading into the master bath and I'm gonna wipe down the countertops with my method wipes. Whenever I'm doing just a quick wipe down, I like to use the method wipes. It's simple, quick, and easy. They smell good. It really makes your home smell fresh and clean. Whenever it's on deep cleaning days, I will actually use my Thieves household cleaner and microfiber cloths. I get my method wipes from Grove Collaborative. I do have a link down in the description if you guys wanna check it out. If you are a new customer, you can earn a five-piece set, I believe. Um, just go check it out if you've never heard of Grove or you've been thinking about checking it out. My link is down in the description and you can look and see what type of items you can get for free. One tip that I have for you in order to keep a nice, clean, tidy bathroom, I feel like it's easier to keep it clean if you keep cleaning products in each bathroom. We have two and a half baths in our home and in each bathroom I have the method wipes, I have a toilet wand to clean the inside of the toilet. You're more likely to clean something really quickly if you make it easy on yourself to begin with. If you have to run around the house finding all of your cleaning supplies, it just makes it harder to do a quick clean up and if you have those products on hand, you can just get under your sink or in the closet and pull it out, wipe everything off, put it away, and you're done with that bathroom. So that is one tip that definitely helps me keep things tidy is having those cleaning supplies on hand in each bathroom. Another tip I have, I don't know if you noticed me going over and opening up the blinds, 
but if you're not feeling motivated and you're just feeling kind of blah, then go open your blinds. Let that natural light shine through the house. There's just something about a bright, airy room that gives me so much motivation to get up and clean something or just tidy things up. If I leave the blinds closed, I just, I want to stay in my PJs. I want to just lounge around on the couch and not do anything. But really opening up those blinds and letting that light come in just really gives me motivation and energy to get up and do something. Now I'm starting in on the kitchen and I'm just putting the breakfast dishes into the dishwasher. I don't always get to do this in the mornings before we leave for school and work. So as soon as I get home, then that is one thing that I go ahead and do. If the dishes in the dishwasher are actually clean from the night before, Isabella usually puts those away. But today they were actually dirty in the dishwasher. So I just went ahead and put the cereal bowls into the dishwasher. So now I'm just gonna wash out the sinks and get those shiny and wipe down the countertops, put all the papers and things away that doesn't belong, put them in their proper place. Make you feel this way when you lie next to someone. You don't even need to play pretend cause you find the way you are. I want to know you better. Give me every detail. I won't judge you as you know. I could stay forever. We lying in my arms. My heart is open. It just took some time. Now I just hope that you'd stay for a little while. You fix what's broken. So just stay for a little while So just stay for a little while I love having this little soap dispenser built into the countertop. It's really nice. I do use Mrs. Meyer's hand soap for just like regular washing my hands, but if I've been working with chicken or you know things like that, I like to use a little bit stronger of a soap. So that's what I usually put in the dispenser there in the countertop. So this is my clipboard for work. I'm just going to straighten that up and put the clipboard into the office where it belongs. That bag was actually a shirt that I had purchased from Walmart, but I did not like how it looked on me, so I'm gonna actually be returning it. So I needed to put that over by the door so I wouldn't forget it. Now I'm heading into the girls bathroom. This is actually the main bathroom of the house. So I really need to make sure that it stays clean. And because you know girls, girls are really messy. <laughs> Whoever says that boys are messier than girls lied because girls really are messy, especially in the bathroom. They get toothpaste all over the sink and ugh, they're just really messy. So <laughs> I have to make sure that I go in and wipe this down every day. Um, sometimes I'll, I'll skip a day, but most of the time it's every day I'm wiping down the sink and the countertop. And again, I have my method wipes already in that bathroom. So that makes it so much easier to just go in there if I happen to use the bathroom and I see that it's got some toothpaste on the sink or something, 
all I gotta do is get under the sink, get my wipes out, wipe it down, and I'm done. And I'm gonna go ahead and give the toilet a wipe down, and I do clean the inside of the toilet out, but I didn't figure you guys would wanna see that. So now I'm just putting some oils into the diffuser. I love diffusing this in the bathroom. It really makes the bathroom smell fresh. And on this day, I was diffusing lemongrass. Oh my goodness, it smelled so wonderful. This is some of my oils that I have. I love this little holder. It's actually a nail polish holder and I did get it on Amazon and I am pretty sure I have it linked in my Amazon store, which the link for that is down in the description if you wanna check that out. And now it's time to move on to Amelia's room. And I tried to block those feelings off In a middle of sex And it all came back When I thought that everything was lost On a cold November night When I met my missus right Made my feelings come to life again When I thought I didn't care I just saw what's standing near Made my feelings come to life again up every morning next to her I gotta pinch myself to prove that she's my girl There's no place I'd rather be here in this world Cause I have no doubt and I know she is the one I guess it really was giving up on love And I tried to block those feelings off In the middle of sex Then it all came back when I thought that everything was lost On a cold November night I met my missus right My feelings come to life again My feelings come to life I didn't care I just saw what's standing near Made my feelings come to life again She's my missus right My one and only one My one and one Now I'm moving on into Isabella Normally she makes her own bed, but she has been sick with a cold and I'm assuming it's the cold. We didn't go to the doctor. She wasn't running a really high fever, so I don't think it was the flu, but she has been sick. So I thought I would go ahead and make her bed and just straighten her room up for her. Um, her bedroom gets pretty messy. She is at that age. She's 11. And she's getting to that age to where she pulls clothes out, tries things on, and then does not put them up where they belong. And that drives me insane. And she also leaves her closet doors open all the time. And it's so funny because I get so irritated with her doing this. I cannot stand closet doors being left open. I don't know why, but that is one of my pet peeves in a bedroom. You need to close your closet doors. When my oldest daughter, um, which has already moved out, when she had this bedroom, she would do the exact same thing and it would drive me bonkers. I cannot stand that. So I'm just gonna make her bed and pick up all the dirty clothes and things in her room to straighten it up a little bit and then I'll go ahead and vacuum her room and head in back into Amelia's room and vacuum her room. Like I mentioned, Isabella has been sick, and whenever somebody's been sick, I just like to diffuse either thieves or purification in their bedrooms just to, I don't know, make it smell fresh, purify the air. So that's what I'm doing here is diffusing some purification in her bedroom.
Now it's time to switch my laundry over from the washer to the dryer and as soon as the dryer is done I will start folding everything and my one load of laundry for the day will be done. all finished you guys it only took me about an hour and a half to do everything that I did and this includes setting the camera up moving it around adjusting the angles and all of that it really doesn't take that long to tidy things up put things in their proper place being a working outside of the home mom it's very important for me to do a little bit every day in the evening like I said earlier, I don't want to be doing laundry on the weekends and I don't want to be having to clean the entire house on the weekends either. So I try to do as much as I can during the week, in the evening. Anytime I get an extra few minutes, then I'm straightening something up. I just don't want everything to get to where it's a complete disaster. Not saying that it doesn't get that way sometimes because if y'all have watched previous cleaning videos, you know that sometimes it looks like a tornado went through the house, but on most days it's neat and tidy and that is what helps me keep my sanity. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and it gave you some motivation to try to tidy your home during the week or whenever you can. That way you can spend more time with your kids and your husband. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.